Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. Today is Sunday, the 7th of August, so we're going to do a Sunday vlog. It's been a couple uh, Sundays since I've had the time to, to make a vlog. I've uh, been real busy putting up hay, and uh, we did have taken care of the bees some. Uh, we harvested honey. That turned out really well. Um, we ended up with uh, off, that, off the crop with the, from these nukes this year. We've got so far uh, 750 pounds. Um, from from my spring harvest. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna check uh, The honey supers that I got on the main reason I put them on was to clean them out after harvest But we're gonna see if they're putting some nectar in and if there's gonna be a fall harvest if there is I will harvest up uh, probably the 21st or 28th of August um, So that I could feed hard before winter so I don't like to go much past that um, as far as a honey harvest uh, ideally, you know 15th is is about you know things are looking good that's the best time to harvest your fall crop um, in the meantime in this uh, since the last vlog uh, I caught a swarm and it had uh, just moved in to a wall they actually called me up as it was swarming in um, in their porch and uh, I showed up thinking it was just gonna be hanging on the side of their porch there swarm I could sweep in a box and haul home and uh, there was a few bees flying in and out of a knot hole and uh, so anyways we grabbed some pry bars pried it open they hadn't made any comb at all I uh, got there just in the nick of time I scooped them all out put them in a box and they all moved in and and uh, that's down here on the end end line um, and we'll take a look in there and see how they're looking it's been about a week or so um, since we have put them in the box so these are the tops of the splits here behind me at my second apiary here uh, basically on the outskirts of of we ipe so um, we're going to take a look and see. We're not going to get in and look at the bees today because we're still in that oh, 16 days since the split. Queens will just be hatching, maybe going out and mated. They might be mated, might be laying. We're going to for sure give them that next week. Next Sunday, we will get in for sure and look and check for uh, um, whether we have the original queens or we got a, a, a new mated emergency queen. And, uh, and then we'll know better how our, how our splits went. Um, in the meantime, like I said, today we're checking for nectar flow um, in the top boxes, and we're going to look in that uh, in that swarm, see what's going on. So, oh, uh, let me show you a jar of honey here. I uh, here's some of the honey we extracted. Um, I don't know if you can tell how light color that is with the camera, but uh, it's uh, it's about as light as I've ever done. I work really hard to get light honey here. I tried to use. This, uh, comb with had absolutely no pollen stain in it um, as new as possible in my in my honey super boxes and uh, it's all spring spring nectar so super light honey really nice looking stuff uh, this is this jar is a gift for my my friend as a helper and uh, we'll see what we get here so all right thanks uh, let's get started okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check for nectar in these boxes like I said these were just the wets that came off from extracting honey and that was the best way to get them clean put them on here this hive has got two of them on had so many bees oozing out of it that we thought it needed the space and it stuck both of them on there um, with one it was still bearded out and so in the hot 100 degree days that we were getting so uh, the second the second box gave them the space that they needed to get inside and uh, so we'll see what we got for for inside of here I'm gonna pull the frame around in the middle and we'll see what it looks like Okay, so this is what we got here. You're looking at it with me first thing. Uh, you can see right in here, it's dark. This is uh, nectar coming in. Um, so that's, it's in the top box, it's in the middle. They got, they got some nectar coming in. In fact, we've even got this capped up already, um, a patch here. So they're working on it, and that was two boxes, so... Um, you know, they definitely got a lot of room here. They don't need any space, but... Um, so there will be a little bit of... Uh, there's just going to be a little bit of a uh, fall honey, looks like. Uh, we'll get in this one and check it out. A few here in the middle. Um, we got a little bit of new, new wax generated in here on this frame. So let's take a look at it. Center frame. It's got some weight to it. Oh yeah, look at here. So you can see, I'm hoping, uh, this is a almost full frame of nectar. 
um, and you can see it's got the darker colors in it so we've got our definitely gonna have our summer honey um, looking good looking good this this will be the be some dark honey come in off of this and uh, so we'll give this we'll give this some more time um, and look at looking that they're bringing stuff in and as much moisture as we had earlier on um, we're probably going to try and uh, let the let this crop go as long as possible um, before we start feeding heavy and uh, you know so I'll do the, I'll do some math and figure out what day it is that I'll have to start feeding and I'll uh, we'll put we'll put bee escapes on and uh, and pull uh, honey supers the day before I need to start feeding um, heavy duty for the winter so that's what uh, that's what the project will be all right well let's check out this uh, check out the swarm and see what it looks like okay so I can see that the bees are mostly on this side of the colony here um, over here is an open spot I'm gonna go through this piece by piece and take a look this is a this is a 10 frame box I got here I got that plum full of nectar and they got that comb fixed up awful nice so compared to what it looked like the day I caught them. Nectar. Boy. Big, big jump ch uh, chunk of honey there. Like I said, the bee concentration is on this side, so I would expect that, you know, brood's going to be over here. We'll see here in just a bit. Now we're starting to see some nice, brand new white uh, comb coming in, and so I guess we're getting closer and closer to the brood nest, and there we go. Um, let's see if we can look in here and uh, hope we'll focus or not. We're gonna try and hopefully you guys can see all that brand new larva in there that I'm seeing. And uh, yeah, a lot of brood. A lot of brood in there in the center of that, surrounded by nectar. Just a little bit of pollen, but yeah, totally fat frame of honey. And, looking like a good jag of brood in the middle I did not see the queen now this is uh these are totally native bees they came from carved spur which is uh further out in the mountains from where I'm at and uh the original homeowner told me that you know he had a big white fir tree that every once in a while cast a swarm off so um he's guessed that that's where these came from and uh these are gonna be 100% native, native queen. This will be one if I can get this through the winter, decent, get it built up strong through the winter. This will be one that I will. I'm gonna to wanna. To, I'm gonna to wanna to pull some queen cells off of next year and really, really try and monopolize that genetic line if I can. Um, we're gonna see here. Uh, I still am not seeing a queen, but all right. There she is, right there. You guys see her? Uh, I got her right, right here on my fingertip. Um, right there, yeah. There she is. Big old, big old nice looking queen. And, uh, yeah, she's doing her job. Doing her job. See how frustrated she is. She's, yeah, she's looking for a place to hide and not a place to lay. So sometimes you get them out here and they don't even care. And they'll just go right about their business and lay an egg for you right where you're watching. Which is kind of what I was hoping um, we could get. But now she's looking for a place to get out of the sun. And so we're going to put her back here in, her, in the box. She's on the edge there. Be careful not squish her. Okay, so, uh, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, what we'll do is I'll, I'm going to convert that, that swarm into a uh, nine frame uh, system instead of the 10 that it's in now and then I'll put a super on it so it'll be ready to go um, I will I will not put a honey super on that at all this year um, we're just gonna try and focus on building it up to its strength uh, and in numbers of bees to get it through okay so when I was editing the video yesterday I recognized that uh, I ran out of space um, to record my conclusion and so we're gonna, we're gonna try and, and make that up now so that swarm turns out to be, it appears to be pretty valuable to me. I want to maintain those genetics. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm planning on uh, doing a Nico um, system with that.
colony at next spring, and I can I can put those genetics into into my apiary and my colonies as I increase again, get back up to speed. Um, what I'll do here immediately is uh, convert that to nine frame system, and then uh, I'll give them you know a week or so to uh, establish uh, some brood in that top box and uh, and get it and get that all you know figured out, and then I'll go ahead and start feeding that colony um, here. Well, which would be about uh, you know 15th to the 21st of August, um, and uh, and really focus on that. We get a pretty good supply of pollen here in the fall, so I generally don't open feed pollen, uh, don't feed pollen at all generally. Uh, it, we have good sources of that. So, Well, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time.